but certain animals have alkalis in their stings and certain animals have acids in their stings or bites. Snakes have alkalis and uh, yellow jackets, wasps, have alkalis. So alkalis would be technically salts and um, or alkaloids which are chemicals which are comprised of an alkali. Uh, and then on the other hand we have acids like uh, these citric acid found in oranges and uh, soft drinks have acids, usually malic acid, apple acid. But uh, if you get stung by a wasp, yellow jacket, you're, you're having an alkali injected into you. So what you do is you can pour a soft drink over it and it actually works very quickly at neutralizing it. The pain goes away immediately. Uh, simultaneously, if you were stung by a bee, uh, including a honeybee or a bumblebee, you're going to be injected with an acid. So what you need then is to put a, a, a salt on it, but regular salt will only help a little bit. But uh, you need an alkali like the juice that's found inside the, the Rumex, which is the broad leaf dock. Uh, you just, you literally will crush up the leaf like that. And it's usually used on nettle stings, but nettle stings, the acid in nettle sting is very closely related to the acid that's found in bee sting. And it's also closely related to the venom of uh, spiders such as the um, false widow spider or even the black widow spider. So you could apply these as treatment and they should work to neutralize it to some degree. Obviously with very venomous spiders and with spiders it's almost always an acid. Uh, mostly with those you're going to need to uh, see get medical assistance anyway. But if you're bitten in the field and you, it's a matter of you know, wanting to ease, alleviate the pain, well then just crush up the leaf and apply it. And it does work very well. I've tried it on false widow venom and I've tried it on bee stings and of course nettle stings. So it does work very well. Uh, it's more complicated but you do need to kind of know your botany a bit to find plants which produce alka uh, alkali juices, saps, but there's many different kinds. Um, with wasp stings where an alkali is being injected into you, uh, traditionally you would cut an onion in half and apply an onion which made sense because the onion has um, acid in it in its juice. Uh, citric acid also works well but it can be a bit tough on the skin but uh, soft drinks work best of all so uh, if you get stung and you want to treat it immediately uh, pour soft drink directly over a wasp thing it works brilliantly. This little plant here is sun spurge if you break it off, you see it has a milky sap. And that sap is alkaloid and it works very well on nettle stings and uh, bee stings. But it's also very alkaloid and uh, can burn. So it's best to keep it away. Don't let it anywhere near your eyes under any circumstances. But uh, this is leaves of the plant. There are many different kinds of spurges and they all have that alkaloid sap which has now been used to treat skin cancer. Rather than looking for plants that have alkalis in their sap, a better idea is probably to get some baking soda which you can dampen slightly and apply that to any stings that you get or bites uh, and it does work very well. I have tried it. Um, it's just a matter of remembering to carry it with you. Uh, the same with a soft drink, it's handy to carry with you. So uh, particularly if it's a, a very sugary one, the more sugary they are, the more acid they have. And then uh, there is a slight danger though that if you're uh, using any of these things, uh, particularly alkalis, if you put your hands near your eyes, that you'll actually hurt your eyes with them, they'll sting you. Um, that happens particularly because you're thinking of the bite you've got or the sting you've got. Uh, what I found very effective if you do ever get it, and it has happened to me, but if you ever do ever get anything in your eye in the way of a, an alkali, if you get a damp tea bag and just hold it against your eye, a used tea bag, it actually works really well. It takes away the sting. So the trick is to have common sense when you're doing any of these things. Don't do anything mad. I mean, for example, if you were to get a snake bite, you might be thinking it's a powerful alkali I'll get a powerful acid and pour it on it so if you pour hydrochloric acid on your arm <laughs> you're only going to have twice the problem instead of half the problem uh, so 
I think it's better to actually use a light acid, say in the, if you have a bad alkali uh, sting or bite, use a light acid like in a soft drink and pour a lot of it on and just keep applying it. And the same uh, if you were to get a severe acid, uh, use a lot of a light alkali, like a lot of baking soda, dampened, keep applying it and it, it should help. Now obviously if you're allergic to any of these things, if you're allergic to acids or alkalis and you might not know which but if you have any kind of an allergy uh, you do need to go to a doctor you do need to get proper treatment never take any risks uh, these are only treatments they can work almost like magic but at the same time you don't want to take risks with your life and even when a treatment seems to work perfectly and there seems to be no uh, immediate after effects or ill effects you could still uh, have an allergic reaction hours later or even days later sometimes so uh, don't take any chances and uh, but do bear these treatments and tricks in mind because they work very well and they could potentially save your life there is one last thing however if you apply any of these treatments to any of these things and instead of making them better they make it worse that means that you've misidentified the cause of the sting uh, and that you need to apply the other treatment uh, because what you're doing is say if you're adding an acid to an acid sting you're just multiplying the effect and the same if you add an alkali to an alkali sting you're multiplying the effect there so what you need to do is basically get the alternative and try it it's not an exact science but it does work uh, very effectively once you manage to master it and in some cases some species you won't know them at all they're new or maybe they haven't been studied and nobody even knows what the type of toxin is that they're using so you will have to experiment if you ever find yourself in a predicament like that but otherwise uh, it's a sound system try it out and be careful but it does work and 